Hey guys, welcome back. Bodie 101 here, and we are back in Chunk by Chunk. That's Chosen's modded adventure, Chunk by Chunk. And we are back in our weird underground base. It's raining outside. I think it's daytime now. Yeah. So, uh, just like uh, where I live right now, monsoon time. It's raining outside. So, well, not right now, but. You know. Anyways, last episode, we set up lava production so i've done a couple tweaks one i moved this guy over because i had him way over here and i'm like come on be with your friends so we moved him over we got a hopper on there with a uh, cobble going in uh this guy all stayed the same hopper with uh, another rat going in and we're already up to 192 buckets so that's pretty awesome um what else did i do what else did i do i uh i made a second one of these and i don't think like, why is that not going in there? Oh, because it's full of power. That's why, because it doesn't need to. Anyways, but, like, if I pull this out, now you'll see it, like, it should start growing again. Maybe not. I don't know. These things are just acting kind of goofy. Anyway, so I got that up and going, and uh, I did a little bit more work in here. Let me show you where we're at. Oh, God, I forgot what I did in here. So yeah, uh, we just got like crates of food because I had so much of it and I thought it made it look a little bit more uh, markety. Um, so you can see we've got this guy here, almost like he's a ticket taker. And then we have all of the gentlemen or ladies, I don't know, in here. Uh, as you can see, I just got to make the... Uh, other box or the other blocks and then put more guys in here and then down here we used to have our little people maker over there now we have it over here and i've added barrels so you can see this guy makes carrots any excess go into here the rest of them go into here this comes around the pole and there's the babies you can hold up to 32 so we it's better than it was with a chest because it's one per slot uh, and then it goes directly into here. And then this guy, I had actually added a diamond upgrade. So this can hold 768. This guy is just super slow. But they grow and they'll go in there. So there is our market. Um, and yeah, and I love the fact that this guy's in here talking to his buddy. So, so there's that there. We'll close that like that so that wandering trader doesn't wander over to us. All right, so t for today, I have uh, set aside a few recipes for some uh, power production from our lava. So that's what we're going to work on today. So let's go. This is probably going to go pretty quick, but then we're going to have to figure out how to get this all set up and whatnot. So, all right, so we'll start here with the magmatic... Uh, I don't even know how to say it, Miss, whatever. So I had to make another one of these machine, for, how do I say that? My, mycelial? Mycelial. Magma mycelial generator. All right. Um, I had to make another one of these advanced, advanced machine frames, which you remember I had two scrap left, so I used it for this. Um, and yeah, we, we basically did this in the other video, so nothing too crazy. But this one should be pretty easy. Boom, it's done. Um, we'll see how this guy goes. Then we got a magmatic dynamo. Uh, we got ourselves an Invar gear, Invar ingots. Invar, remember, is made from Invar blend, which is the iron and nickel dust that we got from the, uh, what, are the, what is this guy over here? The, uh, pulverizer. We did that last episode. All right, this weather's going to bother me. Weather clear, 13,000. All right, that should take care of that. All right, so, um, and yeah, red, so nothing, nothing crazy on this one either. There we go. And then uh, this is from Pawa, and this is kind of the same thing as we did before. So once again, nothing crazy, nothing we haven't dealt with before. That gets us that guy. And then we go up to this one, which just adds that, and then the bigger capacitors. So now we've got that. And then the last one is this one here, but looks like we ran out of this guy. That's fine. And uh, this is just that energized steel that, if you remember, we made 
iron and gold in that uh, orb thingy. And that's how we got that stuff. And now we have this. Perfect. All right. So let's also make a uh, dimensional cell. Pretty much any time I add something, I try and add one of these to this. So maybe, maybe I should need to go over this a little bit better. Uh, why do I have... Wait. What? 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 Oh, did I do it backwards, basic? Hardened. Thought I made this. Did I click the wrong one? I think I clicked the wrong one. Well, god damn it. All right, there's that. You get out of here. I meant to, I made two of the wrong one. All right, so we make this guy, and then we also have to make a card. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, and then we're going to want to look at our conduits. So we're going to want to get power ones, and we're going to want to get fluid ones and we'll see how we're going to set this up so we're going to use this area here all right and first off what we do is let's see one two three four five all right i guess we'll go here okay then we bring this come over to any one of the other ones we take our power card we put it in the link thing puts that little yellow dot and now it's linked in one so there's that and now when we pop this in we should see this and that power should start to go up because this guy would have kicked in you can see the power getting drained out of there all right so there's that then what we're going to do is we're going to put this guy here all right we're going to put this guy and let's see how he goes nope not that way all right this is going to be one of the, can i use a torch as a block i can nice we're actually going to move that torch move it here all right, and, and we'll put one up here. And then lastly, this guy here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make the power come out of this, and we're going to make the power come out of this. This is the power that we are creating, okay? Does this thing need power? This thing needs power coming in, too. Okay, well, that'll be tricky. Um, all right, well, let's make this an in. Does this guy need power? I don't think so. Oh, maybe he does. Well, goddamn. Um, that's the problem with these guys is we can either make them in or out. And just for fun, just to be a pain in the butt, just because it's going to be easier for me, we're going to make another one. I'll show you. Um, let's do this. And oh, damn it. Okay. This isn't hard to make, but I only make one at a time because. All right, so the advantage to do it this way is uh, we get we can hold more power. So if we go like that, right, we come down here, we do the card, we put this in here, it becomes part of the whole net. Why did that not go? We put this in here, it becomes part of the thing, and we put it in here, and I erased it because I put it in the wrong place. All right, so this one is going to be in. This guy is going to be out. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this always active and we're going to make this insert. That's already set right. This guy always active and this guy is set to insert. So there's that. This guy shouldn't take power. How's this guy? Make? I guess he does take power. All right. Well, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Now, energy condos. We're going to come out and we're going to be one short. Damn it. All right, let's go make more of those. This is why making those machines, like all the parts off camera, I was kind of, you know, figuring that I would run into some other roadblock. So, all right, uh, conduit. Do I have everything for more energy conduits? Hot damn, I do. All right. So, and there's probably way more efficient ways to be doing this stuff, but yeah. extract without a signal. Insert. This should now. Why is that not? Is this set to out? Is this getting power? Why is it not getting power? Insert. Extract. Oh, it's active. What? Is that the power it's making? I bet you that's the power it's making. Let's see this side. Let's see if we can do this one. Insert. Yeah, be dumb for these things that need power. What am I. Oh. I know you guys are yelling at me, but I wasn't sure. All right. So, 
We're going to take this out. And we'll take that guy out. And we'll hold on to him for later. Okay. So now we need lava to get to these things. So we're going to come out of here. We're going to... All right. Now you're just pissing me off. All right. We're going to come out of here. Stop it! Stop hooking to that line! I don't want that line! I gotta get a wrench. I gotta. I don't remember what the wrench for this mod is. Uh, let's see. Is it the hammer? Is it this guy? Eh, we'll try it. Why not? This guy is almost good. But that's a wrench. I know. Alright, so let's do this. Let's break this. Ready? All right, and then we're going to take this, and we're going to put this here, and then we're going to be like, no. There we go. And we're going to come across. There we go. Input, input. <laughs> we had the right amount. All right, so insert. You're going to... That's not say it. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, insert and insert. Okay, and now extract without a signal. Lava go in there. Okay, you can see that that's going. Let's see how this is looking. This guy, uh, why do you not have lava going in? Go, we'll go in there, lava. What about this guy? Why? Are, oh, you're taking it all. You're being a little greedy fella, aren't you? Okay, that's full. So now this guy is filling up. Good, good, good. I don't know how I feel about that, that, but it's fine. Okay, now that guy is full, and now this guy should be filling up as well. Let's see how bad that damaged us. Not bad at all. So now we should, hopefully, this is going up. Okay, that's good. Now the question is... It, let's make this an out, and let's make this an out, and let's see what happens. It's still, it's still going. Uh, let's see. It's going up. It's like bouncy. 43, 44, 45. Okay. All right, well, it's going up. So so the hope here is, the goal here is, is that this will be able to supply enough power to keep these going, like keep this thing full, while keeping these two machines running, producing lava, as long as we have the stuff in here, that nether is getting a little low. But I'm hoping that maybe we don't need these. I can let these fill up. They'll just turn off. These are going to be great backup power. Um, even to the point where, you know what? I'm going to grab this guy, and I'm going to put him here and see if he fills up. Yeah. We'll let this guy run and fill up. This is our backup backup power. This is if I make a mess. Redundancies, people. It's all about redundancies. So the idea is, if the power dies, I have a problem because all of my stuff is in here, hooked to, uh, well, there's a, uh, a dimensional thing right there, okay? So if the power goes out, I can't get in there to get stuff to repower it. So, if I can have these, now this guy is locked and loaded. These guys will fill up even more. We'll even kind of pretty them up for them a little bit, just to make it a little bit more room. Hope that these keep uh, going along. You can see I put some of this stuff in there. Um, now, let's see. Why is this guy not getting anything? Okay, well, we'll come back here. And we'll do this. You get that. You get that, and you get this, and then sometimes I just got to take these things out to kind of re-get them going. And so hopefully, there we go. This should hopefully fill this guy up. Anyways, we take this cube off, we set it over here, and that way we have, I think it's a million, yeah, one million FE that I can hook up to any of these dimensional cells to... Uh, Kind of just get a jump start, or you know, a jump start 
like you would with jumper cables. So, all right, let's see what this is at. We're at 194. So it is consuming more than it is using. So we might need to maybe make more of these. They're not fast, but they're free. Um, but yeah, so there's that. And, and this is even, this guy is still running. That's using power. So is this one. This one's still running. This guy isn't really using anything. These two shouldn't be using anything. And this guy either. So right now we're running one, two, three machines plus this fella. And that's what's pretty much consuming our, um, our power. Plus the two machines that are making lava as well. So, you know, it's not going to be ideal, but it is definitely working. I don't think there's anything else I've done in here. So, all right. So let's, uh, we got a few minutes left, just a few. And I just want to take a look at like the next level. Is it freaking raining again? Oh my God. Let's just, let's go sleep in our little church building. It's like I'm a monk. I'm Friar Modi. There you go. There's a, there's a thought. All right, so let's head down here, and I want to look at this with you guys. Let's look up solar. Yeah, there we go. So if I look up solar panels, we've got this one from Cyclic. Okay. We've got these from Ender.io, and then we've got all these versions from uh, Paua, uh, and then that guy's nothing else. So... Let's take a look at some of these. How hard is this guy? So for this, we need this guy. Uh, uh, crystallized amber. To get that, we need this, which is a solidification chamber, um, which we need obsidian pressure plates. All right, maybe we can, I don't know, let's see if we can make this guy real quick. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this just to make it my life easier. All right. Oh, okay. I thought I made more, but apparently not. We can get rid of these now because we made all these. No, stop. All right. So let's get back into this. Uh, we need more of these. Oh, because I need two and I only made. I gotcha. Gotcha. I know what I did. I know what I did. We're good. All right, so there's that, and then we need compressed cobble, which should be pretty easy, and looks like we have everything else. So this guy, I believe, needs power, so we're going to stick him in this room, and yes, we keep adding to uh, our power needs, but there we go. That guy's full, and so if we go back to solar um, we need to make crystallized amber. So that's going to be liquid magma. Okay, we can just put that. Let's see. Uh, magma. No, magma. There we go. Let's grab a couple of these. And then let's, uh, let's do this. Let's do this because this is driving me crazy. Um, let's go ahead and add that. Let's go ahead and add that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, and one, two, and three of those. Okay, there we go. So, uh, to make this, we got to put that in there. We need a fire charge, which I, ooh, okay, good, 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 good. Wait, what am I missing? What was I missing? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, fire essence, which I don't have. Blaze powder. Well, that's a problem. I don't have blaze rods, and I've looked this up. Oh, and this is where this pack is going to get tricky because to get blazes, if we look at blaze rods real quick, um, molten cores, uh, they draw from magma cubes, so there might be a way there. This doesn't help. Same thing. This is fighting blazes. And this is getting the statue, which you got to get from blazes. So, one way that this can be done 
is if we go down here, right? You can see we have slimes. Slimes as far as the eye can see. Far away. But normally there's slimes down here. If we wait until a um, crimson moon, which I think we just had and went away, um, we could, they will turn into, it'll spawn a uh, magma cubes down here. So I guess I would just need to kill a bunch of them hoping to get those things. The other route would be I make uh, more chunks for the nether, which I made some. That was one that I'm not worrying about doing on camera with you guys. I, I don't do our main world, but, you know, and uh, and hopefully I can find that. So that's another route to go. So, But I am going to work in between episodes on maybe getting some of the components for these and, um, you know, start figuring out these. These aren't horribly bad. Um, we'll figure that stuff out. And uh, we'll make some solar panels. Because the nice thing is we can just make basically a solar farm up here wherever we want. And uh, just put uh, one of these guys here. And it's just going to pump right into our system. So that's perfect. So. All right, guys. Well, there we go. So we got ourselves some lava production. I don't know if it's necessarily the best. Because are these guys still... They're, they're still like... Okay, he's full up on power. That's great. He needs to fill up as well. So, um, But yeah, so we... Uh, you know, we were able to turn these guys off. This guy should be good to go. So I should be able to set him aside. So we got redundancies. We got this power going. We can let this stuff build up. Let's see if we actually we actually get some of this stuff to grow again. Um, good, good, good. So I just got to keep an eye on that. And then we can have basically a lot of that set up. So that power goes down. We click this on. Maybe even shut these off. Break this here, perhaps. Um, so that the lava can build up. I might actually do that. Let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and pop this off here. And I'm just going to stick it in the wall there so I know where it's at. And then we're going to actually come over here and we're going to set these to in. So that we're using this power. And then hopefully maybe we can get this guy do while I'm doing off camera work to kind of fill up. That would be wonderful. I think he's going, right? Can, can we get some lava in? Because I broke this, so it shouldn't be going to these. This should be... I mean, these are still going to produce until they run out. And they're slowly running out. But anyway, so yeah. And uh, yeah, so we'll get started on that stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget, if you want to watch the off-camera work for this, I stream this over on Twitch. Uh, this one is streamed every Monday. Spoiler alert, I'm usually a couple episodes ahead on my uh, off-camera work. So for example... From the day I'm recording this, you guys aren't going to see this video for two weeks from when I recorded it. Um, and just, just to you know, you know, full transparency. Today is July 22nd for me. I think for you guys, it might already be in August. So, so just remember that. But I do stream this on Mondays from noon to two Pacific time. Also, um, I make the vods available on Twitch. Usually, they're available the next day. So on Wednesday afternoons around noon, 11, 12 o'clock Pacific time. Uh, so if you want to watch them, you can. Um, and then uh, I do other stuff, you know, the rest of the days throughout the week. Uh, other off camera work. Uh, also, if you want to help support the video, like, subscribe, click that bell, leave a comment, share on social media, tell your friends about it, all that fun stuff. Uh, if you want to go to the next level, you can become a Patreon and get access to nine uh, multiplayer Minecraft servers that Heather and I run. Uh, they're our server or our packs on, well, I mean, they're mod packs on our servers. People play, hang out, it can be in our Discord, chit chat with people, be in our Saturday streams, all that fun stuff. So go check that out. And lastly, if you want to get your own server, head on over to Host Havoc. Use the link down below. That way they know you're coming from one of my videos. And until next time, I want to thank you all so much for hanging out. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Thank you.